Hey, Floyons, how's your night gone? Decently. But I found the clock didn't strike after the moon set. Wait, doesn't the moon set at 12? Um, a little later than that, I think. That's odd. The supernatural forces must be playing tricks on us. And another thing... I'm tired, but I can't sleep. Oh well, I'll just say my prayers and be off to bed anyway. <gasps> Who's there? Banquo, chill. It's just me and my servant. Oh, but then how come you're not asleep yet like the king? Speaking of which, he's told me to give you this diamond for all your kind works. Catch! Nice one, sir. Wow, a diamond. Thanks, Duncan. But why did he pay such a high price for our low-quality entertainment earlier? Well, he is a generous man, that's for sure. Oh, by the way, I had a dream about those witches last night. Those prophecies they said about you are starting to become true. The witches, huh? Never thought about those weirdos in a while. You know, Benguo, we could chat about them in the morning. But I suggest you get some shut eye first. Right, I suppose so. Night, my Beth. Hey, uh, servant. Remind me when my drink is ready by ringing the bell, okay? Yes, sir! Wait, is that... a dagger? Why is it just floating there? Menacingly! Well, let's see if I can grab it. So this is just a fragment of my imagination? But why does it look like my own dagger? Oh my gosh, there's blood on it! Wait, this could be some sort of calling. A calling? To murder! Well, one thing's for sure. If I want to be king, I might have to kill the current one. The time is now. Duncan, ignore that bell, because it is a calling to summon you either to heaven or hell.